Hi, I'm Owen and this weekend I was at Telford Scale Model World, where I was blown away by Don McKeon's tiny and incredibly detailed ships, and he builds them all from scratch. I first asked him how on earth he goes about doing this. So I start with um, a plan, printed out plan. I print a number of copies of it so that I can then cut the various parts out, stick them onto styrene sheet, so I then cut the water line out from the sheet. Um, I then cut the profile from the plans from the styrene sheet, stick the two together, and then build ribs in between to give the line of the deck. Another one is stuck on to make the uh, outline of the deck, and then fill the in-between bits with acrylic putty, coat the whole thing with a very thin styrene sheet, and then that's the hull basically done. If you want a wooden deck, there is some grooved styrene sheet that's available and you can use that to give a wooden plank effect. The superstructure is made from blocks and strips of styrene, um, either stood on their edge and built as a box, or sometimes a solid block will do. The masts are generally made from brass, uh, tapered down by hand. The rigging is generally, well I use two methods, there is a lycra product that you can use where you can touch it on with super glue, stretch it, touch it and so on. And the other one is uh, a very very fine fishing line uh, and that's tied on, glued and then tensioned with little blobs of blue tack to give the right tension, glued. How long does it take you to build something like this? One like this, probably about a month. Not, but that's not working continuously. You know, there are days I don't do anything. There are some days I do more than others. So, yeah. When you're painting a ship, where do you start? What do you paint first? Um, the bits that you can't get at later. <laughs> Seriously. Um, if, for, exa yes, for example, under that overhang there, you're never going to get a paintbrush in there after it's constructed. So as you go along, you need to paint bits. The hull, I, I hand brush most things. I, occasionally I airbrush, but because I hand brush, I don't have to worry about masking. So yeah, paint the, as you go along and as the layers build up. If you were to give one piece of advice to someone who wanted to get into or was just beginning building ships like this, yeah. what would that be? If it was scratch building, I'd say build a paper model. Uh, there are printed paper models, and they ba I basically crib the technique from them. And there you've got everything with instructions how to do it. And if you can do it with a paper model, then basically it's transferring that technique to styrene. And then you're away.